Okay, a little bit of technical difficulty, so we went to just filming it. We'll uh, be breaking it down to 30 to sec 60 seconds clips, and then they'll put it together and we'll air it. Yeah. So we're in the main hallway. The uh, main office is behind us. We're going to be breaking through into what was the old gymnasium. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. So just a point, again, just remember when you walk in the front door, gym to your left, cafeteria in the center, office to the right, and now we're going to go through the magic wall from new to old. And there is, and when you come in, you'll be coming in the office in that door over there, yeah. right? It's double doors. First set of doors are open. Second set are locked, just like all our other buildings. Right. So you'll you'll speak to the greeter, and then you'd get buzzed into the office. Great. You wouldn't get buzzed into the hallway. Okay. So as we come down the main hallway, we are breaking into the old building. We are now in the old gymnasium, and it does not look anything yeah. like it used to. Uh, here's the front of the gymnasium, and I did notice that they added windows here, so uh, to give the the room uh, so every room, room some sunlight. Windows, yep. Yeah, that's so. These nice. are what do you have here on the first floor of the old gym? Is going to be four kindergarten classrooms: two on the front half, two on the back half. And Kelly was talking about over here is where they've added a window. This was in the gym, so there were no windows, but this classroom will have. Uh, Single window, double doors, and another big window over here. All these will have the armored one safety film on them. They'll all be locked. They're actually like a fire escape or a fire exit. But the reason we kept them is to keep the character of the building Absolutely. so it still looks the same on the outside. So to keep in mind, behind these walls were those big gym windows. Yes. All right. Those gym windows were, are covered up. And now they've cut a window in here. This is a kindergarten classroom. Yep, kindergarten classroom. Nice, nice with, size. With a bathroom in the back. Oh, so they all have bathrooms. Everyone has a bathroom in the kindergarten. Yep, there's a, a room that's a mirror image of this on the other side of that wall. And then there's two more on the back side, back like where the gym ran into the boys' locker room and the back entrance by the dumbwaiter. Right. So this was here. This was the vestibule yes. to the gym. This is where the old balcony was. Balcony. But that, yep. when we went to school, it was yep. covered up. That's right. But they used it for storage. The balcony's totally out. And now this is going to be a classroom space. Yeah. You so behind you is where we broke through. This is still the gymnasium. We had just looked uh, to your right was the kindergarten room that we looked at. So we're now in the hallway, and Dr. Bell's going to explain what's going on in here. Yeah. So imagine we're standing right now at center court of the old basketball court. Two kindergarten classrooms to the front side of the building, two to the back, and then you'll see a series of doors here. There's a boys' room, a girls' room, uh, a technology, uh, in, uh, instructional technology room, and faculty bathrooms that would serve the first floor. So behind you is where we broke through. This is still the gymnasium. We had just looked uh, to your right was the kindergarten room that we looked at. So we're now in the hallway. And so in our day, this would have been the gym side entrance right here. We would have come in here for school dance, yep. for uh, to go to class or whatever, and we'd walk up this ramp and we'd be in the hallway. But now you see a big brick, uh, brick wall there. But the staircase as he... Uh, Dr. Bell explained to us before, they're going to keep this encapsulated. What you see here is basically what it's going to continue to look like. like. These used to be double doors. Now you'll see it's all blocked up with a window but we because we wanted to keep the aesthetics, and it still says boys over top from the 1920s. That's awesome. Okay, so we were down by the gym. We just showed where that old entrance was. So we've come down the first floor hallway, and we are now in the middle of the building, and we had talked about this in our last video, how you make your way now all the way to the That's third right. floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up the staircase. We'll go all the way to the third floor because you said the third floor is basically done. Right? Yeah, we can see that. Yep. So we'll see on the third floor. Okay. Well, I apologize if we're a little winded because we just quickly ran up uh, three flights of stairs. The center stairs now go from the first floor to the second floor where they normally went mm -hmm. to now the third floor. So you're basically looking at, um, for some people, it was the guidance suite. Yep. Uh, it was some offices. Uh, the way to get up into the uh, belfry was here. But now we're out onto the third floor hallway. That direction would have been the gymnasium. That direction would have been the auditorium. Yep. Correct. Oh. So here we are in the middle of the third floor. We could take and just we'll just pop into a classroom so you can get an idea of what the classrooms look like.
This is one classroom. It's not as far along as some of the others, but you'll get an idea. Um, you can see what the cabinetry looks like. There'll be a sink there, uh, bookcases along the windowsill, new LED lights that not only shine down, but they also have indirect lighting that will shine up on nice. the white ceiling tiles. Very so it nice. won't be so direct and bright like fluorescents are. And the view is just incredible from the third floor. And it's interesting, when you look from outside, you definitely can see that the drop ceiling comes down to about halfway where the windows. And I was trying to figure out how you made those match. Yeah. But this looks wonderful, the, the opening gap there. Yeah, to save the design and the look and to have more light in here, it worked out. Incredible. Last time we were here, there was a lot of jackhammering going yeah. on, right? So this is where you would have come up the stairs into the third floor on the auditorium side. Um, in my day, it was Jack McAndrew, Mr. Chuckren was here. Uh, the elevator shaft is still here. They haven't taken that out yet. Um, these would be all the science suites to our right. Used to have four science rooms, 301, 302, 303, 304. Now it's going to be four classrooms for fourth grade. Do we make room for Mr. Moyer? <laughs> this is Mr. Moyer's old room. Mr. Moyer, right here. Mr. Moyer right Mr. Saul, Mr. Cunningham, and John D. Carr. That's right. right here in the floor. So we're on the third floor. We're back to the middle of the building where you would come up. This used to be the old belfry, although the steps were a lot more narrow and a lot steeper. And now it's a, like a regular staircase to be able to get up this. Of course, it's, this will be closed off, so nobody has access to it unless they need to get up on the roof. But we're looking at some of the classrooms that, have, uh, that are working on being completed here. Yeah. You can see a lot of the lockers are being installed. Notice the lockers, like you said, Dr. Bell, are neutral color because you've color coded each of the floors, correct? Yes, the first floor is red, second floor is orange, third floor is yellow. Besides our traditional red, we use just some primary colors that elementary kids like. And also when you pop out of a stairwell, when you see the different color, it'll tell you what floor you're on. Because remember all three floors are gonna be practically identical. Right. So the color code tells you which floor you're on. This gives you an idea of another classroom where you'll see the cabinetry, the bookshelves, the lighting are here. These cases right here are the uh, ceiling tiles. So the ceiling tiles will be going in next. After the ceiling tiles go in, then uh, the flooring goes in. Okay, what type of flooring do it, have? It's called LVT, Luxury Vinyl Tile. Uh, so every room will have a tile with a pattern to it. Um, so literally in the next three weeks, what you'll start seeing is ceiling tiles and floor tiles to start, and then you'll have your uh, all your base cove molding and all that will start going in place. So probably by the end of April, the bulk of the rooms on the third and second floor will be completed. So I will tell you, we are in Bubbles' room. I can see right from, right from here. Yes. And, and then it was uh, Miss Omic's room for a while, yeah. you know, for many years. Uh, this, was a, this was actually an extended room yeah. originally because it had two doors to it. That's true. So we're still on the third floor, but we're on the gymnasium end. Because we're on the third floor, for those that remember, this is where you used to come up to the third floor. This is going to be an AIS room. Yes. Right? And then when you came out here, you had the library over here on your left. And on your right, you had the cafeteria. Totally different now. Yeah. Now what you're going to see on this side, where the cafeteria used to be, is a library and a steam lab. So we can take a look at those. So now we're in the steam lab. You'll see it has sliding glass doors. So we can open up to the library and we can use it as one big space or we can slide the doors closed and have two classes in here doing two different things. So now we can go right into the library. So as not to be confused, this is the old cafeteria, which is now going to be, like you said, the steam and the library. So that's the old kitchen to the cafeteria. We can take a little walk. We have a little green room over here too, right? As green well. room there, and this is the office. And the office has all its cabinetry in already. So we're on the third floor. We're looking from the old cafeteria, which is now going to be the library. library. We're looking down, and we want to point this out to you. So the, when this was built in 1922 and operational in 1924, probably up until the 1950s, 
that building right there was a coal chute. The coal chute went down, and there's a room right in here that they would fill with coal, and then the furnaces were there. This is all going to go away. This is all going to be leveled. They're going to fill it in because the, the furnaces are no longer here. They're inside the new addition of the building. So this is a piece of history that will disappear on this, um, but we have it documented. Mm -hmm. So we're on the third floor, old cafeteria, new libraries over there on this side are what type of room? We have a special ed classroom and an art room where the library and the home ec rooms used to be. But there's also a bathroom now in between. Instead of the bathrooms being at opposite ends, bathrooms go back to back. There's a door over there. This is the boys' bathroom, so it'll give you an idea of what they're going to look like. So the divider walls obviously are not up. There'll be yep. divider walls. Um, but definitely new state-of-the-art technology, unlike the old bathrooms of the middle school, um, where some of it was not in that great a shape. It's, uh, this is really nice. And there's basically boys and girls matching bathrooms that look like this at both ends of every floor. So there's six sets of them. Nice. Two on each floor. Plenty, plenty of bathrooms. So we made our ways down uh, from the third floor down to the second floor. We are on the old gym. Right here is the old gym. We're actually breaking through into the old gym. We've already talked in our last video. You can go back and look at it. This is the this is the mechanical room. Mechanical room. So your boilers, uh, all your water sources, your air conditioning and HVAC units. You got the new staircase that goes three stories, and on this side you have the elevator shaft for the brand new elevator that'll be going in. And then, as Kelly said, we stepped through. This is the brick wall. We're now in the gym up high, like where the scoreboard was. You know, I you can we see how, over here, you could see how they encapsulated the old beams from the old gymnasium. See, it's right in there. That, those concrete beams used to run all the way across. And where you see that uh, three quarters of a circle there, that's the, where the lights, those, those big round lights that were up in the, uh, the roof of the, uh, or the ceiling of the gym used to hang from those circles. So those circles are still here. They'll, they'll just be undercover, but there'll be a great conversation piece. Absolutely. So again, we're on the third floor. This is where the old home ec room was. We had Miss Moy here, Moore, right? Seventh grade. Yeah. Um, th so th obviously there were windows, but they had to cut some of the windows out because of the new additions. So they cut a new window in and talk more about this art room. Yeah. So this will be the art room for all the students. Um, and what you'll see here is uh, on this side, they haven't finished the sheetrock because they just installed the window. Over here, you have a supply, uh, kiln room where the kiln will be so they can do ceramics. And then there'll be sinks around here and storage. The classroom is in this general space. And then back in the old library archives room is actually going to become the art storage room. Look at that, Dr. Bell. More snow. <laughs> oh, More my snow. goodness. Good thing it's Friday, right? And after school. So, so we're literally standing in the middle of the gym, halfway up the wall. We've put a second floor in. Down in the gym on the first floor, there's four kindergarten classrooms. When you come up to the second floor on this brand new floor, halfway up the gym height, and this is the ceiling of the gym. You can see right here where the lights would hang from these circles. That was where the, the lights would plug in. What you have here is this is the, what we call the guidance suite. It's the guidance counselor, the social worker, the school psychologist, and a conference room. And then behind it is two special ed classrooms where the girls' locker room used to be. You can go right in there and see one of them. Right? Much, so much nicer than what they have now. Yeah, so two special ed classrooms, mirror images of each other right next to guidance. Okay, let me start picturing here. This would have been... This would be the girls' locker room. Locker room yeah. Right? So to give you a visual picture, this is where we would have come up on the gym side up the staircase to the second floor. Right across from us would have been Mrs. Birdsall's room, room although, there, one. although there was not a door here. The door would have been oh, down right. here a little bit. And in the early, later years, uh, Megan Weebolt was here for many Correct. years. There was a bookcase here, and that would have gone out into the gymnasium. So, there was so now we're going to walk towards what was the old office, and we'll have... Some of the classrooms, um, I remember uh, during our time, Mr. Roberts, but uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Polanis. Polanis was in here. 
most recently Mr. Kaufman would have been here yep. and Miss Spark. Yep, Mrs. Kathy was in Ms. these Kathy rooms for a while. Yep. So you'll see all the wood cabinetry's in, the wood bookcases are in, the windows are in, everything is done up above, the sprinklers are in, the heating and air conditioning units are in. So literally it's it's next is ceiling tiles, lights, and floor. That's all we need to do in these classrooms. And super bright, wide rooms, big rooms. Yeah, yeah. The rooms are big, the windows are huge, and the view is just incredible. So we made our way down the hallway. This is the second floor. This is where you would have come up from the main central entrance, the big wide staircase that now goes to the third floor and down to the first floor. In honor of Mr. Hoppy and those other principals that we've had here at the Port Jervis Middle School, we're going to make our way into what was the old main office. This is a classroom now. Dr. Bell? And what we did is we divided this office up because the stairs are in the way. Used to be you'd walk right in here, the teacher mailboxes were there, the secretaries were here. The principal's office used to be over, over top of the stairwell. Uh, what this is now, this is actually going to be the teacher's uh, faculty room. This is where the teachers will make copies and eat their lunch. And then next door, we have another smaller room uh, that is for occupational therapy. So we took the office and the AP's part of the office, and we turned it into two smaller, uh, two smaller classrooms. So we are at the auditorium end of the second floor. Over here really was the classic Mrs. Cooper's Cooper. room, uh, where we all ate prunes during health class, right. and then of course Mr. Graham took over and went downstairs. But this room here would have been the last room that I taught in in the school. Um, from my times that I remember, I know that Christine Piscatelli was in this room, Elkie O'Connell was in this room, and of course when we went to school here, it was Mel Gottlieb. Yep. Oh, um, Mrs. Auerbach also taught yes, in this yes, room. Yes, that's right. Uh, this room is kind of like a half of the 206 house. and 205, right? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, so. Um, this room doesn't have anything in it yet, but right. it's getting prepared to, uh, the ceiling tiles are here. And then we're going to just jump across the hallway and take a look at what the old nurse's office looked like. So now we're across the hall, and here we are. What was the old nurse's office, but it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger, and what they did is there used to be a boy's bathroom at the end of the hall. There was the nurse's office, and then there was the assistant principal's office, and we grabbed all of them, put it together, and turned it into one big classroom. And again... So not many students would understand what we're going to show them. We're down on the first floor on the auditorium end. Many of you would have either had Mrs. Saletti here for music, music. or um, there, who, who else was in music. Uh, there were a few other people. And then uh, Mr. Graham finished in this class with the health class. But you would walk around and there was a door that most kids never went through. But this was the teacher's entrance into the back of the school. This actually was a bathroom right here. This was how you got down into the furnace room. It's all completely filled in. And that behind this wall was the electric room. And it continues and will be the, the electric room. Next, we'll show you the auditorium. So about 50 years ago, we would have been called to the auditorium. This is it. Yes. This was the auditorium. Dr. Bell explained to you what's going on. But we have, they have just taken out most of the balcony. Obviously, you can see where the balcony still existed with the beam that is there. They're in that process. Now, many of you are going to look at this and say, no way, five months, there's no way. But I can tell you by what I've seen and the progress coming here, this is a very small area that has to get put into shape real quick, and it will. Dr. Bell? And you'll see right here, these were brand new footings that were poured this week. Brand new footings, steel beams will go right in and lock into these bolts next week. This will be filled with all new steel beams. And about two weeks later, what you'll have is you'll have a second floor that'll come from this big giant I-beam all the way across to where you can see the concrete and the steel sticking out. This would have been, you would have never seen this. This was back behind the stage. So what will happen is in about two weeks, there will be steel beams and a concrete second floor. Pretty amazing. And then I can do another one when you're ready. Just to you. So once the steel beams get put in to create a second floor, just like we did in the gym, and we created a second floor in the middle of the gym, we'll now create a second floor coming from the balcony all the way across. 
Down here, there'll be two first grade rooms, a general music room, and a band room. And then upstairs, there will be three third grade rooms and a kinesthetic lab. So there'll be eight rooms taking the place of the auditorium. And if you notice, there's no more pitch in here. This is all flat, completely flat from the, from the uh, doors all the way to the back wall. This will be the last thing done. This probably won't, this piece probably won't be done until early August. So we have come through the broken wall of the old auditorium, which will be first, clay, first, first grade, grade yep. classrooms. So that's, the, that's an old window that they broke through. But the amazing thing is, is look at the new tower, the new fire tower, and how the brick matches the old school. It's over 100 years difference, and they've done an unbelievable job. So here we are in the rear of the building. A lot of people don't see this during the construction period, but this is how stuff is brought in. It's put in the first, second, and third story. You can see that there's windows missing. That's where they load the yeah. stuff in. But then this here will all be parking in yes. the rear, right? It'll, the yep. the um, platform will be gone, the coal shaft will be gone, and this will all be done over. So in the morning, buses will come in and park in front of the building. Parents that are going to drop off, elementary students, will come all the way around the back, and you can have... The nice thing about this, it can hold so many cars. The current ASK cars build up and they, they pile up all the way out on the 209. They'll come in here, there'll be a driveway to go all the way around and drop them off by the front by the gym. And they, I see they've put in uh, underground power here yeah. already and all a new, new transformers. New fencing in the back. Okay, so now we're in the back of the building behind the old gym for everybody who remembers the old building. What you have is the kitchen and the cafeteria, and then the gymnasium. So this is all brand new. You don't get to see this when you drive by the front, but this is what the backside of the new addition looks like. So when we started in our live shot at the beginning, um, we talked about uh, this piece here going to become uh, the playground and all the playground equipment that's gonna be moved over from the old ASK and, and Glenette Field. So talk about what's going on. Here. Sure, I mean, to give you a point of reference, we're probably, the girls softball field was back in here somewhere and then eventually it led to the tennis courts and then it led to the old jv baseball field so what's going to happen we're not we don't have enough room for a baseball field what happened is there'll be a road that comes all the way around like this that leads out to east main street um, and the baseball field instead of a backstop here the backstop will be over closer to glenette and the game will be played this way it'll be a softball field it will also be a phys ed class field. Um, and then all this area where you see the containers and the piles of rocks and everything leading up to this machinery, this will all be the playground area. So all the stuff from ASK is coming, uh, almost all of it. Some of it is too old to come, but most of it is coming and some new stuff is being ordered. So you're gonna have a, outside of this service road, there'll be a fenced in and the entire park uh, playground area is all fenced in. So you don't have to worry about a kid running after a ball, running into the lane. They won't get anywhere near East Main Street. It'll all be contained with six foot uh, black uh, chain link fence all the way around to protect the kids. So here we are, five months to go before the building's ready. I, I have confidence that it's gonna be ready. It looks good. We've shown the people a lot of different improvements that have been made. Uh, your people have done a great job to this. Uh, we're gonna see uh, parking because you swapped the uh, properties with the city. Yes. And there'll be a, a nice grand entrance into Glenette Field. And what's going on with Glenette Field? Yeah, uh, in addition to all this work going on, this is phase one. The renovations to ASK to make it a middle school and the fields at on the 209 campus is phase two. But phase three is uh, a, a renovations to a new library at the high school, uh, renovations to the auditorium at the high school. Uh, everything is new at Chase Field. Lights, scoreboard, track, and synthetic turf field. And then Glenette Field here will also have brand new LED lights, a brand new digital scoreboard, and synthetic turf. So we're awaiting state at approval. It was supposed to be here by the end of February, and the state moving in their slowness that they always do created quite a problem for us because Glenette was supposed to be done in time for graduation. Since the state really messed us up, we're behind schedule, but what will happen is Chase and Glenette, both will take about three and a half to four months to do. So as soon as we get state at approval, we're expecting we'll start both of them around May 15th with the idea that they would be done before the start of school.
Thanks. So we're about to wrap up. Thank you for uh, sure, for man. everything. It's been a great yeah. trip. Uh, lots to be seen here. Uh, enjoy the videos. And we're going to make uh, probably one more trip before school ends. And then we'll do one more yeah. in the summertime for your invite for the people to be able to come and see this building in its amazement and the dedication That's to, Mr. to Mr. Hoppy. So mark your calendars for Saturday, August 31st, which is Labor Day weekend. Um, Saturday, August 31st, 10 a.m. We'll have the formal ribbon cutting and then open the building up, have an open house for the community to come see the building in its final stages. It's been a long road, but I'm looking forward to getting there for sure. Looks fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Right, Bill. Great, great job, guys. How about a go for it? Go for it.